Well, it's 16 out, 68 in, and it's a uh, quarter to 12 at night. Been working pretty late tonight. And I'll take you over here. Uh, I've got the fan on for extra warmth. And it's 54. Let's see if I can show you that. In the bedroom. And 32 on the porch. So 16 degrees out and uh, 32 on the porch. That makes a huge difference. And um, 54 in the bedroom. That's by the floor. And 68 by the ceiling. So that's nice. I just need to get another fan in here to move the air from the ceiling and I'll be good. Well, the sun is shining bright today. This is a 500 watt little miniature vacuum that I can use when the sun is shining and I can keep my floor nice and clean which I like to do because this is the first new thing I've ever owned in my life this RV well newly renovated and nice and pretty so I get to vacuum the floor when the sun shines well which I'm going to con continue to do here along the rest of the, uh, the floor in here that is a good feeling when it can do that. Since it's uh, warm in here, I'm sweating like mad right now because I've been working outside. It's um, 75 by the ceiling and 57 by the floor. And the battery bank is only 42 degrees. So I've opened up the battery bank to uh, allow them to try to get some heat today. And uh, that's going to help them a lot, considering even putting a fan on them to uh, circulate air down through there. I might just do that. Take my fan and put it on low on here for a while. And get some, uh, get them warmed up. That'll help them a lot, getting them warm. The big box came in the mail yesterday. Well, I carried it home yesterday. It was after dark and uh, I was gonna open it up last night. So I undid the tape already. But it was too dark to record, and I want to do this on the porch because uh, the RV, obviously, I'm working inside. So we got, oh wow, this was unexpected. We have here ready to race technician glove KTM. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Actually, I hope I get my bike going today or this uh, spring. That'd be nice. I don't have a KTM. I've got a scooter, but still. Wow. Nice gloves. Oh, thank you. I'll look on the, uh, there's, there's nothing on the package. I'll look and see who sent this. And write it on the, uh, down below on the video. That's some nice gloves. What we got here? Orange, what? Oh! Sweatshirt. Looks like a pair. Or what? What do we got here? There's a sweat. Oh wow. Oh KTM sweatshirt. Wow, I gotta tell my friend from Austria. <laughs> that's funny. He loves KTM. Wow, that's good. KTM racing. 
Very nice. And oh, these are thick, heavy, heavy. Well, this I did not see, foresee. All right, I knew this was coming because he asked me about the size, but I didn't realize how heavy. What is this? Okay, there's some liners. Heavy duty boots with liners. These are thick. Is that air? Keep double laced. That is a serious heavy duty boot. I wish you could feel how heavy that is. I don't know if you can see inside here. It's a uh, super, super thick sides. It's incredible. I'm gonna have to figure out what this is. Open close. Well, let me try this on. Boot liners. Is there a right or left? That's the left. Oh. Oh. I hope that fits. It feels good. I feel like Frankenstein with these things on. Wow. Here's the right side. That's going to be good for sloshing around in the slab out here. These are huge. Can you see those monsters? I didn't know the military had anything like this. These are thick. Wow, I can't wait to try going out in these things in the cold. That's some super thick padding. Well, thank you. That is really, really heavy duty stuff. I'll have to get some laces, but that's no big deal. Wow. I wish you could see how huge these are. My feet. I've never seen something like it. Well, thank you. Oh, super thick. With liners. Well, I'm never going to get uh, numb toes again. That's awesome. And they fit. Thank you. That's incredible. I definitely have to figure out what this is about. Hold on a second. There's like an air pocket in here, it seems. I'm not sure what that is. Huh. It says, keep closed unless airborne. That's curious. Wow. I went up to the house to get some water in a jug and carry it back. I'm hand carrying gallon jugs. And this was laying outside the door of the landlady's place. Let's see what we got. I don't know what exactly. Oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> Plastic sheeting. That, I bet, is meant to repair my porch. But, I can also use it on the greenhouse later on. And, I'm going to rebuild my porch later. So, that's definitely useful. I'm not sure who sent this, but uh, thank you. I will definitely be able to use it anyway because this is um this porch here is temporary and i hope to build a porch all the way around the rv later and that'll come in very handy when i do that so thank you well this wind turbine is in my way just laying here so i want to try to get it up at least in the air for now, so it's out of my way. 
and I'll attach it properly later. I have to put the uh, blades on and do the wiring. Oh, that has to go through. Oh, this is awkward. It's so heavy. There we go. to redo the wiring. I wish I could twist it for now. I might just hook this up. Oh, cut it. Yeah, I'll have to get tools and do that properly. Crimp on connectors. At least that's out of my way. That was in my... I had uh, packed it up, took everything to Michigan with me, and I had it in my camper. It's in the way. So I'll have to get the uh, the wiring hooked up on that and put the blade back on, and I'll start having more room inside here. I guess I'll dig out my tools. See, everybody keeps asking me why I haven't done it yet. Well, <laughs> for one, the wires are under ice, so I don't even know if it's hooked up properly yet. And, uh... I'm trying to dig out my tools. Everything was packed. You wouldn't believe what all I had packed in that car on the trip home. I feared if I had a breakdown I was going to be in trouble. If I had to get the tires out, a spare tire out, forget it. Forget it. I had that thing so loaded. That's why it took me a couple days to empty the car. Because uh, everything went into the camper and then from there I hauled it out and started sorting out. I'm still unpacking. But, that's the beginning. I think I might as well pop the other one up there as well while I'm at it. wants to go. Look at that. It's a very gentle breeze and it's really running. Of course that slows it down a bit. I think it has power right now. That does put the brakes on it some. Check my wires. It looks like they might still be going. 
I'll find out when I get inside, but it did put the brakes on that right now. So that tells me there is some uh, electrical tension on there because the uh, the force of charging the batteries makes it have to spin harder, so it needs stronger wind to spin. Well, there's one. That one's actually hooked up, I think. I'll have to check my... Uh, my wires, get my voltmeter out here and check the wires, make sure it's all good. But I think that one's going to work. Now later on I want to get, once the, the weather's changed and it's spring here, when it really is spring, I want to get uh, a real tower and put the wind turbines up nice and high and get some serious wind. There's one done. Got my solar panels out of storage. I. Uh, set them up inside my shower stall for now, my outdoor shower stall. And uh, that's where they're going to sit until the snow is gone. Because um, I just can't work with that with this slop. I mean this is all mud and slop right here every day. You can see every footprint, every step I take. So that is just going to sit there for now. But I uh, want a great advantage. This stuff this snow is giving my solar panel some serious power. Um, I had enough power to vacuum the floor today, which is incredible. Um, and of course I've got clear blue skies, bright sun. That's incredible today for solar charging. Cold weather is good on the panels. The sun reflecting off the ground is just intense. I've got power to burn today. sort of dangerous. These are wicked sharp. figure out what size it is and get it up here and tighten this one as well. But hand tight will work for now. Oh, that is a beautiful sight for an off-grid home. Oh, two wind turbines waiting for the wind to blow. Very nice. I just got to get them up in the air. Can't wait to get them up higher. Still quite a bit of snow on the ground. It's uh. Quite a few inches th thick, and then there's ice under that. I'm not even sinking down all the way when I walk on this stuff. That's pretty deep yet. Unbelievable for this time of year. Makes good hand washers. Abrasive cleanser. It's great. Um, that's one advantage of having this here. That's what all it's good for to me right now. Working in the 
mobile workshop on wheels. Uh, I have to work around my motor scooter. I got it inside for now. But you can see, I hope you can see, yeah, you can see. I'm putting up shelves in here and I'm working on getting my tools set up. Uh, getting it all sorted out and in order. So uh, I'm going to have this workshop set up. It's going to be a real workshop pretty soon. And uh, then I'll take the solar panels from the old camper that I'm going to get out and bring them over to this camper and let this be my mobile workshop on wheels as I had planned. It's going to be really good when I get it set up. So I've been working on that all day today. I've just got a little bit of equipment in my way because I'm keeping it out of the weather here, but there's that old generator. That's another old generator I got. I forgot about that one. That doesn't run either. The uh, I don't even know what's with that. I've had that for years. I got it from a guy and it didn't work. But eh, one day I'll mess with it. I think the generator itself was shot. Looks like the polar's broke. But I'll mess with it one day. That's a project for a rainy day. Uh, just getting the tools in here and then I'll get this sorted out. And um, it's going to be good. It's going to be really nice. So this is, as you can see, there's quite a bit in here already. This is what I'm doing right now is just hauling stuff back and forth, sorting things out, and then I'm going to get them onto the shelves nice and neat. And uh, eventually I'm finding all my tools. And that's why I was able to finally put up my wind turbines today. So hopefully I'll get it all going well. Now what I like here, this is, uh, hold on a second. I don't know if you guys remember when I got this, but this thing has power plugs. I think there was 11 du double uh, 110 outlets in this thing. So what, I've, what I'm going to have is my air compressor is going to be permanently hooked up here. And I was at Harbor Freight actually in Michigan and I've got, let me see, I've got a load of tools to sort out. I've got this rubber hose, this rubber air hose which is going to go on here because this thing is garbage. It's incredibly annoying and especially in um, cold weather. And I'm going to be putting a rubber hose on here. And that air compressor, that's where it's going to live. From now on, my air compressor will stay here. And then my little Harbor Freight generator will go outside. I'm going to build a, a pallet box over here. Right here where the power plug goes in, I'm going to build a pallet box. Um, basically, a wooden pallet on the bottom, and then some stands to hold it up, and a wooden pallet on top and then some tin sheeting off my old camper once I got it for a roof and that Harbor Freight generator will live out here full time the camper can stay plugged into it and when I need real power I just gotta fire up the little generator um, hopefully one day I'll get one of these big boys going but that's that's something for the future because um, I'll be honest I've never worked on a generator the uh, generator unit before and that's what's bad on this I think if I remember right. And uh, a couple parts like the pull cord and stuff need replacing. So I'll figure it out one day. Now I've got another generator that's going to get a permanent home here soon. Once this slop, see it's all soupy here and snowy. Once this slop is gone, um, this guy here, this if I don't know if you guys remember, I just got this before I left for Australia this amazing 200 amp hour direct battery charging generator which I'm going to hook up to the RV permanently and what's going to, what I'm going to do is I'll have this in a pallet shed a little pallet box with um, obviously with open air for breathing and where I can reach in and start it but it'll be a completely enclosed unit uh, for the most part and protect it from the elements and have a permanent home over here by the RV so whenever I need some power, like a vacuum today, and there's been no sun, then, um, which is obviously not the case today, but often it is, so the uh, generator will sit right next to the RV permanently, that little uh, DC generator. 
So I can't wait for the slop to be cleared and I can dig out my pallets and get stuff going. It's going to be good. It's going to be a really good year. The truck solar is charging happily. It's looking good. I'm going to bring out my voltmeter and do some measurements here. I'm going to measure these batteries and the one in the old camper over there and see what's what here. Um, see what's up with that the ones in the old camper and why it isn't charging. See if maybe I can get that going um, without waiting for a full thaw here. But this one's doing well. This uh, this set of batteries is doing very well now. So it's good to have as a backup. Because of the soup in front of my RV, I had to put down another pallet, just a little one, stomp my feet off on before coming in. Uh, all this is uh, fire starting materials, my kindling bucket, my ash. What I want to show you is the wood pile I keep in here. I chop this much every day and that lasts me a whole day and through the night. And um, this is all I'm doing each day, just chop what I need and it seems to be working out for now. It's, it's alright. But I can't wait till I can start using these water cans. Uh, right now that's a little bit heavy to carry um, from the creek down to my place but uh, and it's also freezing at night still but you can feel that sun beating down in here right now this solar porch is really doing its job even the the black is hot it's radiating heat so it's good I think if I had it to do over, I'd do it all with the clear plastic because I can feel the sun beating on me hard. But the uh, the black is also, it is warm and it's kicking off some heat. So it's doing what I wanted. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Warming up this porch for me. It's looking good. It's 86 inside, 46 out. And uh, it's hot. I, I've been outside for hours working. I just came in and the batteries are up to 53. So I'm going to keep these wide open for the rest of the day. And um, I'll have a lot more power. So uh, this is looking good. And that's all just from my wood stove. That's a little bit of a mess because there's my bench from the... Uh, and my cushion to my bench. There's baby cat. She's knocked out by the heat. How you doing baby cat? Hmm? Got nothing left, huh? No energy. And we've got 65 in the bedroom. 66. 61 on the porch. That is good. That's outside this the RV. So the sun is doing its job out there. Um, heating up my porch and the wood stove I don't even have my fan on it's passively just pumping I can feel the heat pumping in here it's actually hot it's really hot I gotta take off my sweatshirt cool down in here 